Hey everyone, this is Holly from Elite Cosplay, and I'm going to show you how I edit my photographs. Um, first, I'm going to start off by telling you a couple things. I am currently using Photoshop CS5, and I also shoot all my pictures in Camera Raw. Um, so when you open up the photo from your files in Photoshop, it's going to look like this. This is the Camera Raw station thingy bobber. Um, so basically, I just pick out the photo I like from the set um, and I kind of look at it. What do I like about the picture? What do I not like? Um, for me, I like that she's kind of like spotlighted here. Um, and then I don't like that you can have this distractive background here on the side of the tree. Um, so we go over here to the sliders and I kind of check it out. Um, we can see that the histogram right here um, is kind of pushed off to the side and that means it's dark. Um, so I kind of slide around and see if I like what I'm doing. Um, recovery will basically take your overexposed parts and help it out just a little bit. So I kind of slide that over all the way half the time. Um, since it's a little dark, I'm going to put in some fill light just to see what happens with that. And we can see the slider over here goes more towards the center and our picture gets a little brighter and has a little bit less contrast. And I kind of like that contrast. So I'm going to move up the fill light just a little bit, um, but I really like that she's in a spotlight kind of. If it calls for it, I like to add a little bit of contrast. You can see we've kind of gained some recovery in her face. Um, she was a little overexposed there. And that's what I, about it. All I need to do for this picture of camera raw. Some pictures need more. Um, so I open the image, which is going to take you to the regular Photoshop area. And uh, I'm gonna um, edit out this part here that's kind of distracting. Kind of make it look like she's just against a obscenely wide tree. Uh, so I'm gonna duplicate the layer here and I'm gonna make it a layer mask. Um, and then I'm gonna go over to the side here, take the paintbrush and have it on black. Um, oops, the paintbrush set's a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna um, brush over all the parts I don't want this part to be up. I basically just want this to look like the tree because we're going to be using the fill tool. Um, so I'm basically just technically erasing these parts on the layer. Um. Alright, that seems about good enough. Um, I'm going to take my lasso tool oops, and uh, outline the uh, make sure you have the correct layer selected if you were on the mask layer but now you need to be on the picture layer um, I'm gonna outline the bit that I want to go away and that's gonna be all selected um, then we're gonna go to edit and then fill. This is going to be content aware and the content aware is going to take everything except for the place that we masked out. And uh, 
that's what it looks like. So I'm going to unselect it here. And it looks pretty clean. Um, there's a part here where you can kind of see like the seam. So what I do is I do the healing brush. And I'll kind of just <laughs> go over it a little bit. And see how that looks. Um, but otherwise... It looks pretty good to me. Maybe this part's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, just kind of play around with the healing brush. It can get a little ridiculous. Anyways, for the sake of time, we're going to say that looks awesome. <laughs> um, and then... Sometimes I like to uh, play around a little bit with the saturation. Um, saturation can get a little out of control, especially when you're dealing with people because the redness of their skin definitely comes out. So I always, you know, you always want to have it a duplicate layer. Um, I kind of bump up the saturation a little bit and kind of see where it's at. You know, the lips, her lipstick, the reds on her outfit will definitely stand out a little more. Um, and then I come through, and since it's a layer mask, um, paintbrush and black for the places you want to erase. So her face is looking kind of red. So I'm just going to erase that part. You don't want her to be too ridiculous. And, and the green on the tree is a little uh, much. So I'm gonna erase it just to tone it down just a little bit. Alright, and then we can go to the preview and see if we like the before and after, so check that. As you can see, obviously, the uh, thingy on her uh, wrist definitely pops more, and her eyes do as well. Get a little closer. Yeah, so that looks all right. I kind of, especially with cosplay, I like to kind of inspect their costumes and see if there's any um, weird things hanging off there. Um, and if there is, I just kind of take the heel brush and kind of just fix it. Um, like thread or anything like that. Her costume seems to be mostly made out of um, craft foam, so it's a little bit easier than fabric. You can see some glue here. And sometimes the seams can look kind of funny, so I'm going to see if that helps at all. Eh, it's alright. It's not bad. Um, but otherwise, I mean, she has a pretty clean costume. Her makeup looks really good. Um, nothing I would really change. Some people need more work than others if you really care about that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, she's a good cosplayer. Um, and last thing I kind of like to do for my pictures personally, especially with this one, um, the lens is kind of focusing somewhere else. I think her arm or her chest or something, not really on her eyes. Um, but it's not too bad when you pull away. But I'm still gonna um, duplicate my layer. I'm gonna go to filter, other, and we're gonna go to high pass. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of sharpen the layer a little bit without making it too noisy. Like if you went into the noise filter, um, I usually try to keep it below a five, depending on how much sharpening the picture needs. Some need more than other. Um, I'm just going to go with the 4.1 here and see how it goes. Uh, so this is what it's going to look like after you hit OK. 
and you're gonna need to go to the layers and you're gonna need to pick I usually do soft light it's kind of safe I don't know why but it works um, so let's zoom up on the eyes here kind of blurry and we can see if you focus especially in this area here you can see it go blurry and it kind of pulls together. I don't know if you can see that. You can, might be able to see it better in the hair. More it makes it a little more, everything a little more defined. So I like to do that on a lot of my pictures, even if they are really sharp. Um, just because it kind of makes it more, more better. Um, and then the thing that I like to do, which a lot of people don't like to do, but I like to add a little vignetting. Um, so I go to filter and I go to lens correction. Um, and then I'm going to go over here to the right and I'm going to go to custom. And where it says vignetting, you're just going to want to go towards darken. Um, I usually kind of aim at 30. Um, and I kind of click and unclick the preview button to see what it looks like. And you can see it just makes the um, corners darker here and uh, definitely gives it more of a spotlight, which I really, really like. And then we're going to hit OK. And that's pretty much it. That's basically what I do to my cosplay pictures. Um, if I feel like something needs to be more intense, um, like I did the cosplay from Alice Madness Returns, I will go into some actions over here on the right. Ooh. And uh, I did like a, a sepia thing and it made it more awesome. I don't know. I usually try not to do a lot of that stuff, especially with cosplay. Just kind of keep it natural or kind of keep it more towards the feel of the character but this is pretty much essentially just what I do um, if you take a good picture you don't really need to do that much but I hope this was helpful thanks